Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. Coming to you from Pop's house in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm smoking my rat trays, craggy root, nine millimeter. And I'm pairing it with Dr. Pepper. Mm. And in it, I'm smoking McBaron's Vanilla Flake. And that's my travel blend. Same ingredients as vanilla roll cake. Per Jensen. Not per Jensen. Per Jensen. He's the master blender at McBaron. All right, well, I bounced a couple videos out while I was at Zeal Cigar. That was too much fun. Those guys uh, are a hoot, and they were just, it's like they'd never met a stranger, which is like it is in the YTPC, right? So, um, I'm gonna knock out a couple more videos. I actually have two pages of notes so that I can remember whose video and actually three, three videos I need to knock out. So let's tackle Flat Cap Piper and Lady Fire, but Flat Cap Piper's 1K Gaw. First and foremost, congrats on your 1,000 uh, subs a milestone for sure sorry let me get some chapstick it is 79 degrees and clear here in El Paso or in Phoenix and uh, North Phoenix and it is flipping amazing outside I can remember sitting in the same place in the middle of the summer at nine o'clock at night and it being 104. No, thank you. All right, so let's get in it. Sorry, my A-D-D-H-D-M-O-U-S-E kicked in. All right, so their gaw is titled, What About Me? So, uh, the first question is, how did I get my channel name? Sorry, I am right between two major streets and apparently somebody has a motorcycle. So how did I get my channel name? Well, um, Garbage Man Piper is my channel name and I have been in the solid waste industry for 39 years. I think that would consider warrant me calling myself a garbage man. Um, there'll be more on that in full Dotto's video, for full Dotto Dallas's video. So basically, garbage man pipers, because I've been, it is so quiet at home in El Paso up on the hill. It's a little getting used to, but I see now what you guys got to deal with. So I've been in the solid waste industry for 39 years, hence Garbage Man Piper. Um, let's see, the second one, where are you from and where do you live? Okay, we'll blast through this one. I was born in Bakersfield, California. Moved to Phoenix, probably one years old. And uh, I lived in Phoenix up to eighth grade. So almost 14, 13, 14 junior high. And then I moved 
from El Paso, from Phoenix to El Paso in 1975. So I've lived in El Paso. I went to high school in El Paso, finished high school in Phoenix. So I moved back to Phoenix. Oh, this is gonna be confusing. Got married, went back to El Paso, got married, moved to Northern California for a couple of years, then got a job in El Paso, moved down, and the job I currently have, I started working at in 1981. So there you go. Pretty much a high desert rat, or just a desert rat as it is. How long have I been smoking a pipe? Um, there's about a two week gap. I started somewhere between the middle of April, the end of April, 1st of May. 2018. So I'm coming up on my three year uh, pipe journey. I tried it once when I was 18. It didn't go. I, I worked with a guy that smoked a pipe. I, you could just, the whole, the whole hardware store smelled like his pipe. It was amazing. And he gave me an old corn cob and his pipe tobacco. And I just didn't, there was no disconnect between the smell and, and the taste of it. So I didn't pick up a pipe until I was 57, 58, give or take. So um, about three years. My first pipe was a, a Missouri Meerschaum uh, legend cob. And my first tobacco was, was Borkum Riff. I believe it's bourbon whiskey or whiskey bourbon. I think it's bourbon whiskey. And uh, actually, I didn't have any problem with that tobacco other than I got tongue bite really bad. And actually, everything I smoked from that point till almost a year later, I had tongue bite for about a year or so. And I just kept at it. That's when I went to the school of uh, the University of Mutton Chop. I didn't get rid of, I didn't get rid of the tongue bite, but... I digress. All right, where are we anyways? Let's see, what's the next question? What am I looking for? What am I looking forward to in my pipe smoking journey? Well, one thing is getting rid of all the flipping pipes this guy gave me to sell. Gee whiz, I, that just gets old quick. I probably got 60 pipes. I started with 60, got it down to 40. Now I got 60 more flipping pipes to sell and I'm about done with it. I reached out to, to uh, Corvette Jim, JC Pipe Rescue. He was gracious enough to, uh, to be willing to help me. I just don't know if I wanna do that, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet. I'm probably just gonna piecemeal them over the next year, put them on videos like I have been. So I'm looking forward to getting rid of those pipes. I'm looking forward to getting a metal lathe. Um, I've made a few pipe stems um, off of my regular lathe and uh, I'm just not precision enough for the pipes are fine because the briar can be sanded really, really well and everything, but I just don't do so well with the stems. And I think that's my next step. That's my next step. And pipe building is getting um, a, uh, is that better? No, is getting um, a metal lathe. So. Hopefully in the, between now and summer, I'll pick up a metal lathe and I'll start honing my skills. With a metal lathe. Uh, also shrinking my cellar and getting back to shrinking my own pipes. Uh, when I got all these pipes, 
I had worked my way down from about 104 to 75 pipes. And then my buddy brought me all these pipes and some of them were, were just in my wheelhouse. And so I bought another probably 12 pipes. So I'm still, I'm still, I don't know, somehow I'm still pushing about 97 pipes. So that's a little bit frustrating, but I picked up some really cool pipes. All right, so that's what I'm looking forward to. What else do I watch on YouTube? Well, for those that don't know, I turned 60 in December. And the one thing that is utmost on my mind is retiring. And I'm projecting myself to retire. It's 67. And so I have been watching David Ramsey. I've been watching The Money Guy. I've been watching several different uh, YouTube channels on social security, investing, and um, fortunately, we have a great start, but you can always do better. So we are working diligently um, on taking care of all the things and laying the groundwork to be able to retire at 67. <coughs> We'll see. <clears throat> so basically that's it. Those are the videos that I watch outside of, uh, outside of YouTube videos. And for the most part, uh, YouTube videos, uh, wow, it's just crazy. When I hit, when I hit 500 subs, I was beside myself as to how I was going to answer every one of these 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 videos with a comment. And um, basically now I look more at it as if I can connect, for example, 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. You know he's probably going to make one a day because that's when he sits out and smokes his pipe. Johnny, love you to death, bro. But Johnny knows I'm probably only going to comment maybe once a week on one of his videos and connect with Johnny or, uh, or uh, the bearded Welshman or, you know, you know, these types of things. So if you're putting out videos at least one day a week, I'm probably going to comment on, on maybe uh, two thirds of those, you know, so. Uh, I don't know how I got off on all of that, but that's a little taste of what curmudgeon was talking about. I get, I get off on a dirt road. Um, so anyway, I don't even know how I got off on that, but hey, I'm smoking my pipe. It's nice outside. Um, hung out with Pops a little bit today. Went to Zeal. Got to see my brother. Just had dinner with my sister who's moving to South Dakota. I said Montana in an earlier video, but it's... It's, sorry, North Dakota. God. And then I'll be getting on, getting back on the road and heading home tomorrow. So there you go, flat cap Piper. And I did sub Lady Fire today. So uh, there you go, Lady Fire, you've been subbed. And just love what you guys do. So there you go, appreciate you guys. Congratulations on your 1,000 subs. I want, should I win, I want my prize to go to uh, Ohio Piper, Jeff. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, saying, sweet chicken baby, y'all be safe out there.